Hello everyone, my name is Kirill. You are on the Audio Advisor channel. Today we'll talk about what transmission allows the fastest acceleration. Guys, I need a favor to ask. If you're watching this video and there is a red button under it, just click on it so it turns gray. Just click on it. And don't forget about the bell too. Before moving on to the main topic of this video, I want to ask you a question. Why do you really need a gearbox? The answer is this. The gearbox is needed in order to increase the speed range of the engine. If you didn't understand what I said, we have a video about this. The link will be in the description. Okay, why do you need a gearbox? To put it simply, the higher the maximum speed of the car, the greater the number of gears should be in the box. For example, if the maximum speed of the car is 70 km per hour, then only four gears are needed for this. And if the maximum speed already exceeds 120-150 km per hour, then you need five gears already. Well, then it can go up to six, seven, and even eight. Now let's see how the number of gears affects acceleration. In order for the car to accelerate as much as possible, it is necessary to transfer maximum torque and maximum power to its wheels. But these values are achieved only at certain engine speeds. For example, if you have a 200 Hz power gasoline engine, then it will only produce maximum power at about 6000 revolutions per minute. So in order for the car to accelerate as quickly as possible, we need to keep the engine at 6000 revolutions per minute. And now let's recall how the amount of revolutions change when you shift gears. Let's say we're in the first gear. The engine torque gets higher, reaches a certain value, then we shift into second gear. Revolutions per minute drop, then rise again, shift into next gear. Again, revolution per minute drop, and the cycle repeats. If we increase the number of gears, then the shifts would be more frequent, and the engine would operate in a narrower speed range. In this case, we would be able to transfer the maximum torque and maximum power of our engine to the wheels. Conclusion. The greater the number of gears, the faster the car can accelerate. But there is some nuance to this. Every switch wastes our precious time. Therefore, if the number of gears grows indefinitely, then we will spend much time simply shifting. For example, if we spend half a second on one shift, then we would spend two and a half seconds on shifting five gears. And for racing, that's a lot. So it turns out that for fast acceleration, on the one hand, we need the maximum number of gears. And on the other hand, we need to switch them very quickly. And moreover, these two parameters must be balanced. There is such a gearbox on the market in which there are an infinite number of gears. It's called a CVT or a variator. But the variator has its drawbacks. It cannot work with high powers. So this type of gearbox is installed, let's say, not on sports cars. Therefore, it is not optimal in terms of acceleration time. By the way, if you are interested to know more about CVT, then go and watch a separate video about it on our channel. The classic automatic transmission is also not quite suitable for us, since it, well, changes gears relatively slowly. And in the case of manual transmission, it all depends on the skills of the driver. Although the speed of human reaction is also limited, and there are mechanisms that work much faster. So, this brings us to the robotic gearbox. Some samples of these boxes shift gears in 0.05 seconds. So, in one second this box can switch 20 gears. It is very fast. It is much faster than in all other types of gearboxes. And besides, the robotic gearbox has 7 or 6 gears which also has a beneficial effect on acceleration speed. So to the question, which gearbox is better for faster acceleration? The answer is simple – robotic. 
Robotics gearbox, as it were, shifts gears in advance, thereby achieving the shortest shift time. Also, in this gearbox, many steps, so this is the best option on the market. Now you know the answer to the question, which gearbox is better for faster acceleration. I hope the video was helpful to you. It was the Auto Advisor channel. All the best to you and see you soon.